All right, this is an intraday um, version of the Vulcan Report. Right now, you're looking at a chart of the Dow Jones. For those of you uh, who don't know, uh, the Dow was down about a thousand points today. Just about 30 minutes ago, we had a super parabolic bar. This bar right here. Look at the range on this thing. Uh, 10,879 is the high. 98.70 is the low. Okay, I didn't stutter when I said that. Uh, that's like a 1,200-point range almost. I mean, it's just ridiculous. All right, L let me just go over a couple things just real quick because, you know, we only got a few minutes on these videos. All right, I've been telling you that you could expect multiple crashes and things like that. Well, let me just give you the big picture real quick. Why don't we do that? All right, you see this right here? This is the Dow, the S&P, the NASDAQ. These are the tradables, the, uh, the uh, diamonds for the Dow, the... Uh, the S&P 500, the Q's for the NASDAQ, okay. As you can see, the stock indexes are all down, right? And then look at silver. Silver is down while gold is up. Oil is up. Crude oil is also down. Commodities, these two ticker symbols, MU and JJG, down, okay? Goldman Sachs, continuing to plummet. People laughed at me when I said short Goldman Sachs and that a big powerful move was coming. Uh, and it did happen, all right? JP Morgan down, your banks are down, even Google's down. Look, real estate, IYR down, semiconductors down, a lot of the currencies are down. I mean, this is just everything falling apart. Uh, people think that it can't happen, but it can. Now, one thing to note is that, um, let me just show you an intraday chart of this, uh, this Dow real quick. Look at this. Look how this, this is just, we call this super hyper parabolic. All right. Now, I want you to, to see something here. Okay. When you see movement like this, that means that somebody somewhere knows something and things are happening. Okay. Now, you're going to hear talking heads say that, oh, it was a bad tech or a bogus order, order in the market, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm sorry, it doesn't work like that. Um, everything on in Wall Street is extremely uh, computer oriented, and you got algorithms going, and all types of trading platforms, and Nasdaq Level Two and Level One, and Globex, and all these order routing and matching and dark pools, and all these different um, uh, um, 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 exchanges. I mean, there's just so much involved. Trust me, there's no such thing as a bad tick in that regard. This going to move a market. You can have bad ticks and, 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 and dirty data, but that's uh, cleaned up within seconds, okay? Let me explain something to you. The reason why this is happening is because the simple reason we told you is because the global economy is crashing, okay? Now, the PPT, the Plunge Protection Team, came in right here on this five minute chart when we touched down here below the 99 level and they bought it back up. Look at the next bar. The next bar just gapped from here to here and then we gapped here. That's insanity. That's what is called a fast market. During fast market conditions, the brokers down the floor don't guarantee you fills. As a matter of fact, the only orders uh, that are filled are market orders. Stops and limits are not even recognized on the floor during a fast market session. As a matter of fact, most people don't even know this, that during a fast market, they don't have to fill any of your orders. Even a market order may not get filled in a fast market. Did you know that? Yeah, it, it's for real. Okay, now, you see we've come back. We're only down 352 now after being down like a 1,000 points, okay? Some people say, oh, see, that was just some, you know, capitulation, you know, we blew off some steam, ran some stops, and now we're just going to rally and boogie up from here. That's not the case. We're still down heavy, okay? Okay, sure, it's not, you know, a 1,000 points down. It's only uh, 300 now, 400. Uh, that's still extremely significant. That, that is a huge, that is, that is a parabolic move, okay? People are starting to wake up to the fact that uh, countries are collapsing, okay, and that we could be next. As a matter of fact, I'm here to tell you we've been collapsed. It's just that most people don't know it yet because uh, they don't see the manifestations of it per se. But we already collapsed. We collapsed a long time ago. And this is just the beginning of the end. And I told you I would document it, and that's what I've been doing, I'm making videos documenting the collapse of the global market as you know it. Now, the talking heads 
on CNBC even mentioned that gold may become the new reserve currency. I just want to explain something to you. I don't know how many times I can I can say this so people can get it. All right. The only way gold becomes the new reserve currency or the dollar backed by the gold standard, if that happens, you need to know something. If that happens, all right, that's right in your face. Those of you who still haven't woke up, woken up to the new world order, if that happens, that is because the central banks, the foreign central banks, the Illuminati, all of that stuff, Bilderbergers, Rothschilds, the whole nine, that's because they have uh, secretly stolen and hoarded all the gold which means they have all the money and all the nations of the earth are now poor and have to come to them in order to survive so going back on a gold standard and making gold currency is not a good thing I don't know how many times I can explain that and stress that that is not a good thing look at Zimbabwe that's all I gotta say gold is an extremely scarce commodity okay so understand that that's why the hunt brothers tried to corner the silver market because it is a rare metal it's not unlimited like like printing dollar bills fiat currency it's unlimited you just keep printing as much as you need gold and silver is not like that once it runs out it's run out and if a person can physically buy up all the physicals then guess what they have cornered the market and now they own it do not think for a minute that going back on a gold standard is going to help or fix anything it's not that right there if that happens that is the sign to you that that, that that's the end game that means everything is over everything has utterly collapsed if that happens and you my friend and I will not be able to get our hands on enough gold to, to sustain and keep you and survive you better believe that if that happens you can expect all heck to break loose and all types of tyranny and you, you think we live in a police state now you ain't seen nothing yet I could go on and on and, and, and break down more things for you but I don't have time bottom line is here's your chart um, the collapse is here and this is in your face I don't care if we rally 2,000 points from here just understand that this right here is the beginning of the end if they can some of the PPT can keep this thing propped up for a, just a couple more months understand when the next one comes it's going to be a lot faster and a, even more furious than this you, you don't know what these markets can do this Dow can move 4,000 points in a day or whatever the um, the circuit breaker limits are I know they, they keep changing them it used to be like two or three thousand points and they would close the market who knows what it is now or, but the bottom line is this if they really want to this thing can go to zero all right so don't think it can't happen because it can anyway that's all I got for right now peace out